at Outer Banks because we were watching the series Outer Banks. And everybody started saying that would be a cool place because we thought the show was so cool, even though it turns out it's filmed someplace else. I was kind of bummed when I found that out. My mom rented a van that could fit all of us. The car was really big, it was like a 13 seater van. The kids wanted to bring some friends. We rented a 15 passenger van, loaded it up, took off on a 17 hours. 14 hours to go. This is exciting. Everyone has their phone. Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia. It was like a surprise trip, but I was really excited because we've been cooped up for quarantine for so long. I was just ready to go somewhere. I got to bring my friend Ellen. It was really fun. I was excited to go to Outer Banks because I watched the show. We certainly drove through the night. So it'd be about 12 to 15 hours, something like that. Jump the trees, jump the trees. Yeah, jump the trees, jump the trees. Do your camera. enter a new state, we say goodbye to the state that we just went to and hello to the next state that we're in. Ah! Never felt so free! Second rest stop. <laughs> it's like 11 right now. Andrew, you know what you can do? You can get on the floor if you want. Grab your blanket, lay on the floor. There's no room on the floor. You'll find something. The reason I didn't lay on the floor is because there was like no room. It was like that wide. We just slept through the night. It was super fun. Wasn't the comfiest, but it was an adventure. I didn't really sleep that good. We were the only row to have three people in. Everyone else had like two people, and we had like the whole row to ourselves. So then we would just like lay like on a bed. It was pretty crammed, but we were more comfortable than the boys and stuff. So I'd take that as one. Well. We stopped at Virginia at a Chick Fil A for breakfast. Let's get ten of their breakfast sandwiches, right? <sighs> It is, right house. It's cute. So we found the house online. It was right on the beach. It had tons of bedrooms. You guys, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> it's a really big house. We made it. I can feel the ocean. When we got to the house, I was not expecting it to be like that big. Like, it had so many rooms. So these are a lot of the bedrooms. Whoa, there's a pool right there. Ocean. Jacuzzi, pool, right by the beach. It was right on the beach. It had a pool, jacuzzi. And it was like, it was so nice. The house was freaking huge. Paradise on Earth. There's another level too. Okay, let's go. Dude. Oh, this is so cute. It had an elevator. There's an elevator? So maybe I'll sleep in here. Where are you sleeping? I'm sleeping upstairs. Why? So they can hear you creaking down the stairs, Anna. I thought the house was was really great. When you realize how like wide it was and how long the house is, you just realize how much space there is in it. Oh, the house was awesome. This is the boys' room. It smells so bad in here. Mm. I feel these rays, baby. It is so hot. I love how they just leave everything. Like, no one's gonna take it. I love the beach, so it was, it was great. I can stick mm -hmm. We spent our days going to the beach because it was literally, like, right there. We were on the water, so we just hung out on the beach. We just try to keep to ourselves and enjoy some time with some sun. It's just a different environment. It's, it's pretty warm. We uh, were outside a restaurant and there was a big drainage ditch. Just do it. This part of it or this part? Over there. This part, this part. This part. You do it, you got it, Jack. Big running start. Jack said he could jump across it, so we dared him to do it. You got it, Jack. Oh! oh. oh. There. Instead of renting a bunch of hotel rooms and worrying about contact with other guests, it was nice that we were all just together in one group. That made it uh, a little more peace of mind in terms of getting away during this kind of crisis. We always made super big breakfast and they were really good. We had eight kids and all of us are teenagers, so we all eat a lot of food. Wow. Look, there's a dragonfly. All right, you guys, so this is our view. Oh my gosh, the crab is back in the pool. Holy crab. What the heck, there's people already out there. How early do people get up to go to the beach here? And trying to get up. Hey, already woke up. Wake up, Andrew, Andrew. Why do I want to get up? Because 
It's new. It was wide. And it's nice out. Okay, I will get up, dude. Just leave. When Andrew wakes up, he's super cranky. He's really mean, and he doesn't get up. If he smells bacon, he'll probably get up. That's, <laughs> that's the same thing with me, though. Leave! Leave. Now. Well, I'm just gonna say that I'm not always like that. I'm just cranky in the morning. The most memorable thing we did was we went out to the uh, the sand dunes. This is in Michigan. We have sand dunes. Those were like on a whole different level. Like they're a lot bigger. Where are we? And honestly, it felt like you were in Tatooine in Star Wars. Went to Jockey's Ridge, which was beautiful, beautiful sunset that we saw. But you feel like you're a million miles away. It feels like you're almost on another planet. Today is the day we leave. It's been like two days. I feel like we haven't been here long at all. Oh, it takes us forever to pack up and leave because like, there's always like, mom's like, go, 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 pack, pack, pack. FedEx. That's a hat FedEx wears. Yes. FedEx is sweet hot. I'm just gonna say we're sitting here. She gets us up at like 7 a.m. So we have to pack up fast and then nobody's really listening because it's like 7 in the morning. Can you guys go look over there and make sure David doesn't have anything? Everybody please bring all the food stuff down. No, there's, there's more stuff. More stuff to come out. I love a jump schedule. We just packed up the van and put the masks in and away we went. They let us like back out the car, like in the garage, if we ask. So I backed the car out. Look out! Yeah, he literally, I saw him in my mirror and he was going like this. So Ella, you're wrong. Ella's super bossy when it comes to driving. Is that everyone? If you're not here, say hi. Oh, uh, Brady's not here. This is it, guys. This is the field. We were staying right by the uh, Wright Brothers First Flight Memorial. I don't feel like paying to get in. Per person. Ten bucks. Yeah, right. Hard times. Wow. Yeah. I'm raking it in here. Oh, well, there you go. Free. Free after all. Let's do a drive-by, can we, or do we yeah. want to go in? No. Let's do a we decided not to go in terms of going there and walking, but we did just drive around it in a van. They just jumped off the hill and- They're like fine for like eight seconds. Well, it's anyway, the first time anybody ever done it though. The Wright brothers were the first to ever fly. You guys didn't know this, it's a little history lesson. What, are you guys dissing it? Oh. Uh, and it was kind of cool. Uh, prop I mean, I'm probably the one who's most interested in historical sites. Right there, they uh, jumped off of a hill and flew for the first time. And we drove past it, that's right. <laughs> All right, we're there, first flight. That was your lunch stop, so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> You enjoyed it. If you didn't order something, TS. What's TS mean? Tough shit. <laughs> Did you just make that up? No. Every trip that we go on, we play the license plate game. Everyone's really excited at first to start the game. Mostly David. <laughs> Take a look. Whatever doesn't have a check mark, we need to find. The license plate game is actually like half and half. Half people don't care, half people do care. Alaska and Hawaii are time marks. And then you get to a point where you actually have to start offering money toward the end to have people participate. We threw in some money to make it more likely that people would look up from their phones once in a while. Andrew. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah, hi. What's up? I had the back seat and there was only one seat in the back row. So it was really nice because I don't have to worry about like other people. It's something I use at least once a week and you guys should know and it's noticeable when I use it. Sub Tanner. Oh yeah, that is it. <laughs> I want to play 21 questions and I, I find it pretty fun, but then after a while it gets pretty boring. Andrew, you have one? No, I don't. Come on, Andrew. Andrew, participate. Well David always wants us to go to capitals. North Carolina's one is pretty small. Like, I've seen houses bigger than their capital. I forced everybody to go to the North Carolina capital, for example, which everybody seemed to enjoy a little bit, so. Come on, Hannah, I want to do yours. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh my God, wait, send that to me. That's Jacob, let's do so funny. They're like, all right, guys, we're going to uh, Asheville without you. They're here by this Fortnite, you. No, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, in favor of Katie Andrews, I would be the Fortnite. Say Fortnite. Fortnite. Fortnite is kind of just like, I don't know, it's Fortnite. It's kind of a family joke. When it's just like an awkward moment, somebody says Fortnite. On our last day, we were all super sad to be leaving. Mom decided that we were going to go to Asheville on our way back. Oh, Asheville's actually really pretty. We went hiking. So we decided to go to Asheville. 
but just thought it'd be neat to do a hike in the Blue Ridge Mountains. We got a couple of hotel rooms. Whoa, this is so nice. Blue Ridge Mountains, Blue Ridge Mountains. I wasn't excited to go to Asheville on the way back. We had to go for a hike. This is such good vibes. Mom always makes us go on these long hikes. Honestly, like it's good when you're done with them to feel like really good about them. We have this car loaded up with so many things and so many people and we're going up this huge mountain that's twisty and turny. You're so funny that you get so scared about things like that. Nope. Dying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sorry. Close to the edge. I'm not even going fast. Hannah gets really nervous Nelly in situations like that and she starts talking out loud and then her voice escalates and I'm trying to focus at the task at hand, but I think there's something wrong going on back there. The smile on her face, does she know she's putting the fear of God into us? It's so real, is there anything? Mom, don't need to be looking at the edge. She was just like whipping around the corners. I wasn't going that fast. Um, please don't back up. Be quiet because you make me nervous when you talk like that. It's just better sometimes if everyone's just quiet for a minute. It really wasn't that tenuous of a situation. The whole thing was just unsettling. We're here. On the hike, we saw a snake. Jacob absolutely hates snakes. It's right there. It's right here. <laughs> a couple people freaked out about it, who shall remain nameless, but one of them was Jacob. He was like looking up what kind of snake it was, if it was venomous. <laughs> Is it venomous? No. Cool. We should go back. We should pick it up. Bring it home, guys. Bring it all the way home. Bring it in the car. Yeah. I'll, so I'll right hold him up. Jacob. Okay. It's a pretty big snake. I didn't know Jacob was afraid of snakes. That was fun to mess around with him. Nice. But it wasn't that bad. I actually liked it. I liked the hike. We just had a fortnight hike. Overall, it was a beautiful hike. After that, we got back in the car. We still had a super long drive back home. All right, where are we, Jack? Cincinnati. How many hours do we have left until we're home? Five. How was your bathroom experience? I just want to like piss in there. <laughs> Outer Banks. Paradise on Earth. Uh -huh. What do you say? Super quirky. Burger King. Wendy's? Which one? Wendy's. Wendy's. But we, I don't want to get in the car. We okay. just were out of the car. I know. Can't we just go through the drive through and get it and sit on the curb? Let's eat on the curb. Get in the curb. Be curb eaters. Drive through there and do a Starbucks and the curb there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah! If it's gonna take this long to order, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's just leave. And go where? I will take a number nine sauce. Ella? Um, uh, their sauce and sauce. Your sauce and sauce? Awesome sauce? I don't know. Okay, next. Spicy chicken chicken sandwich. I need numbers. Number six, sandwich only. Number six, sandwich only. Well, we were on the road for quite some time. Everyone was hungry. There's 10 people yelling different things. So I just said if everyone gave me the number. Next. Okay, uh, number nine with this medium cranberry. Okay, what are we doing though? Okay, I, I, I'm, okay. regular chicken nuggets with spread no, cranberries. I need, hold on one second. Everybody, three, number what? Nine. Spray cranberries. Spray cranberries. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, three, number nine. I have that. Sprite cranberry. Sprite, yes. Cranberry. <laughs> cranberry sauce. A cranberry. <laughs> With Sprite. Sprite cranberry. It's the drink that's right there. I don't know. It's a Sprite cranberry. It's a Sprite cranberry. cranberry right next to the number nine. I thought that Sprite cranberry wasn't a seasonal thing. I thought it said Sprite cranberry, but I think it was like Sprite cherry or something. I, I just wasn't thinking. I Waiting for them. Oh, now she's yelling. We have cherry, raspberry, grape, strawberry, peach, and vanilla. They don't have cranberry. <laughs> oh my god! I'm just sorry, get guys. Some, just get some. I'm regular. sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. If this is the oh, 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 I can't. Yeah. I just can't. I can't do it. I really can't. <laughs> The lady didn't get it, and I just had to go. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Your Ohio was yelling at us. Go back to Florida, she said. Oh, did she yes. say that really? Did she really Go back say to effing Florida, she said. No. Yes, she, she did? Didn't. You guys are getting Burger King. Uh, give us one second. It's going to be kind of a big order. 
two thirteens. Okay, next. Nine, just a sandwich. Two of those. You can get two for six of those. The chicken sandwich. Spicy, crispy chicken. The chicken. <laughs> I'll take the number nine sandwich. Hello? I'll take two. <laughs> well, ordering fruit, like usually we have it down, but then sometimes it can be really hectic, especially when the whole family is there. I'll take two number nines. Okay, can do it. Who else? Well, uh, I'll nine. have a number four. What else? Do I, who else do we have? Oh, I want a number nine with Sprite, please. Is it cranberry Sprite? <laughs> no. Never, and then a number nine with a Sprite. An order of your jalapeno bites. And cranberry Sprite if you have it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I know that was a big order. <laughs> how are you guys? Hi, how no, are you? I'm sorry. We're just been on the road for so long. We're a little slap happy. Uh, 36. Okay, Thank there you go. I'm going to give her a $50 tip for this. $50? $40. Fine. Oh my $40. God. I felt sorry for the second place we went to, Burger King. I think we did better. I think we did a much better job in ordering a seven rather than a three. So I did give her a tip. And Appreciated her patience. Look over that. I can't. I'll just be pretending to look over it. <laughs> uh, hey, it looks great. Jacob, you're smart. <laughs> I just put a little something in there for you guys, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys. Very hey, they, were, they, they gave us the real hassle at Wendy's, so. That's how Wendy's go to hell. They were horrible. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they were horrible. You are doing a good oh, job. Oh, they did a good Thank job. Thank you. Front door service, like that. This is the front door. It needs to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> that was probably the funniest part of the trip. I mean, there was a lot of funny parts, but that was just because we were so slap happy and ready to, I think, just get out of the car. We had a couple more hours to drive back home, unpacked everything. That was our couple day Outer Banks trip. That was a really fun trip. That was awesome. I liked it a lot. Outer Banks overall, I give it a 9 out of 10. The trip was super fun. I really liked it. It was good to finally get out of the house because, you know, we were in quarantine for like two months before that. I think the trip was a lot of fun. I wish we were there for like two weeks or something because it felt like it was like a day long. It was definitely a lot of fun. I'm really glad that we won. No, I don't think this is one of the last family trips we'll go on together because we already have one planned. Dun dun dun! Oh! Oh! Cliffhanger! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Malosh Madness. I know I don't normally do intros like this, but I thought I would this time just to ask you guys what you want to see of more Malosh Madness. Do you like it more vlog style or do you like it more reality TV style? Let me know. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. We're so close to 2 million. It's insane. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Love you. He's all, always like <laughs> he likes to sleep. You're like mumbling out. You're like I don't like a lot of bad me. Say I'm not always like that. I'm just cranky in the morning. Lies. He's me. <laughs> Let's get away. You know this is terrible. Okay, let me start over. Oh, oh. I saw a crocodile. Get up, get up. We're gonna get up. We're gonna film. We're gonna film that. Touch my wrist. <laughs> Why did you do that so hard? So we decided we we're going to the Outer Banks. I was too excited. I was too excited. Your lives. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I gotta get up. <laughs>